Hi friend, welcome to Codemaster. Today I am going to discuss how to connect MySQL database by using the Java language. Here, first, there are two things that you need to connect database by using Java language with your project. The first thing is MySQL database from where you can execute retrieve manage data the second thing is the driver that connect to database with your java language or your project so let's start how to connect a database the first thing is zap server that i already installed here you can go to google group google search xamp xamp server when you install it open this then you will see like this display start click on start button apache and mysql when the xamp server is installed and you click on start button it looks like ports number 3306 and 8443 when you install your jam server then go to google chrome and write here php my ad local host sorry local host slash php my admin when you install your Zen server then you already installed your database mysql so no connect no create a database here click on new write the database name something like i write test click on create no it says test database already exists now I write his name code click on create database it shows database code has been created so now the other thing we need is the database connector go to google chrome and write database connector okay uh, sorry we'll try j connector j connector click on the first link when it opened go to download from this zip file latest version 43 download i already download it okay when you download it then the things that you need to connect database completed now go to netbeans the compiler i am using netbeans click on new project new project java application here java application 4 finish ok here this is java application 4 and here this is our main method from where our program start now i am going to discuss how to connect database the first thing you need to add a jar file here right click on libraries add jar file here i the for the connector the driver that i have already downloaded is this click ok and open it the file the jar file i am connected now i am going to start to write our code as when 
we write a code is throws an exception we write throws general exception it throws a general exception the first thing is you s you need to import first when you start your code import java dot sql dot static all the library file all the files all the packages you import sql packages okay then write here in try statement because it throws any exception we need to load this driver gloss dot for name here we write in string com dot class dot for name is used to load the driver load the class mysq dot jdbc dot driver okay then we need a variable connection to establish a connection con it connection object reference to the connection with which we are connecting connection the driver manager class has a get connection method this method contain three things url username and password what is url url is for mysql is this jdbc caller mysql colon localhost colon the port number that shown in xamp server 3306 okay port number 3306 then the database name here we create database name code where is code this is code here we give code okay now our url is completed the second thing is password and username here i am selected default username you can also create your own username and password here default username is root and password is simple inverted commas okay now our connection is established with the database now we need a object of prepared statement prepared statement is used to prepare you can also take here object of statement simple but i prefer to use prepare statement because it's easy and you don't need to run again and again you can pass your own statement when you run your program at run time it it takes variable at run time also but here i am compile right time compiler time compile time here given variable compiled time prepare statement object here with connection variable because we connect to database by con then here method prepare statement here we can create our statement create table if not exist table name here i think student here we can give fields of table uh, okay here we give fields of table here id not null 
ऑटो आई एन सी इंक्रीमेंटेड ओके आई डी इज इंट इंट ओके देन वी गिव फर्स्ट वॉर्चर हेयर गिव टू फिफ्टी फाइव मैक्सिमम लेंथ देन सेकेंड इट बी इट इज आल्सो वॉर्चर इट आल्सो टू ट्वेंटी फाइव मैक्सिमम लेंथ ओके देन वी गिव प्राइमरी की प्राइमरी की प्राइमरी की इज आई डी ओके देन रेडी हेयर वी गिव फील्ड ऑफ टेबल ओके आवर स्टेटमेंट इज डन नो वी एक्जीक्यूट आवर क्यूरी एस टी डॉट एग्जीक्यूट मैथड टू एग्जीक्यूट आवर क्यूरी then we show our message whether the table created or not print l and table is created when the table is created then this message display then we close our statement st dot C L O S E K. Then oh sorry. Statement here. Enter. S T dot. Clo close. then our connection close okay here we write catch block c a t c h catch block it takes general exception e when any exception occur e dot print stack trace now our code is ready i am going to run this code run See what happened. Oh, you have an error in your SQL syntax. Near if exists here we write exists. Okay. No. Oh, what happened? No. Auto increment here right. auto increment okay no no the thing the table is created the finally the message display the belt created no i am going to our code code database here here browse here we see our structure yes id first second int hai ye 11 its maximum size 11 25 25 null it is auto incremented so thanks a lot in our next video uh, we will discuss how to insert a record in a database please subscribe our channel thanks a lot code master thanks a lot